So there's a very good chance that you wear these and you don't like wearing them. And you probably complained about them quite a bit. But what if I told you you could make money with these face masks by selling the face masks and you don't even have to have these face masks. You don't really even have to design and you don't have to do any work and you could have somebody else ship, print, and fulfill the orders of these face masks and you could collect money. <clears throat> well, stick with me in this video. I'm gonna show you how you could do just that. If you're new to this channel, my name is Austin and we talk all things entrepreneurship and making money online. So go ahead and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you don't miss any other videos that we release. Also, go ahead and like this video for me to help me help you. If you take a look at my computer screen right now, you can see I'm on a website that is called Etsy, E-T-S-Y. Etsy is a platform for you to sell um, personalized custom products, handmade products, um, unique items. And I know masks aren't that unique, but um, it is something you can sell on Etsy. And if you can see, even just on my homepage, you can already see some right here. Um, but if we were to just type in the search bar, if we type the word mask, we'll be able to see all kinds of sellers on here selling masks. And you could do a, the, the exact same thing these sellers are doing. A lot of these sellers, actually don't hold inventory for this these masks what they do is they do what is called print on demand so when somebody comes over to their um web page or, or, or their listing they can print these on demand and have a fulfillment center ship them or the printing facility ship them to the customer at the time that they are printed um so we could just click right here for example actually i saw one on the home page i liked um, let me see if it's still there uh, yeah, this first one right here, very simple, um, very basic image. You can see they've got 197 cells. They probably recently just started. So I'm not, I didn't want to show you something extravagant. I'm sure they just recently started um, with just the COVID. You could actually dive in and do a little bit more about them. Um, been on Etsy since 2020. And that means they could, they could have literally started on December of 2020 um, and already generated 197 cells. Um, and I'm sure it's probably with the face masks, um, for example. But let's just click their face mask. Um, and you can see that they have different colors. Actually, they're all sold out. So I don't want to use them for an example. Let's go back and just type in mask and use somebody that has um, um, th this one right here. They have over 4,000 reviews. Um, and you can see 2021 new designs. They're trying to grab your attention. And they have all different types of designs. Right. And you're probably like, OK, cool. Well, how do I get designs like that? How do I actually do this? So very first thing I want you to do um, is you're going to want to find a printing company that is going willing to do what is known as print on demand. Um, I recommend using Printify. So if you go to Printify.com, in fact, I'll just leave a link in the description. So don't even worry about pulling anything up. I just want you to pay attention right now. Um, you could uh, you could go to Printify.com. Link will be in the description. And you can click this button, start selling, and you can create an account. In fact, here I'll click it and I will sign in. I'm not a robot. Boom. This email has already been, I know I'm trying to sign in. Oh, I'm trying to sign up. Oh, let me click sign in. All right. Now let me sign in um, and sign in. And this is a new account I set up for you guys. And you can see right here, this is exactly what it's going to look like when you first start. Welcome on board. And it's going to give you step by step how to set this up. You'll design your first product. You'll add a store name. You'll add personal details and you'll connect your store and start selling. So what's awesome about that step is you can connect this store directly with Etsy. Printify is an approved uh, a vendor for Etsy. So you can totally do this. It's allowed by the terms of service on Etsy. You can connect your Printify store for Etsy to do print on demand services. There's a lot of, um, um, I don't know what you want to say. There's a lot of controversy about that at certain times, but Printify, Printify is an approved vendor and yes, you can do it. Um, in fact, it integrates rather seamlessly. I don't want to bore you with setting this up. If you need me to show you another video of setting all of this up, just leave it in the comments below. I need another video. Um, and would you walk me through all of it? But for the sake of this video, I just want to give you a broad overview and a broad tutorial of how you can do this. Uh, I mean, clearly, hopefully, if you can follow the directions, you should be able to set this up yourself. But right here, it's going to say design your first product. We're going to just skip that and we're going to click catalog at the top. And I'm just going to type the word mask 
um, to show you what the products would look like. So as you can see here, we found four items. Um, I like this one, it's the cheapest, it's $4. So I'm just gonna click that one and use that for an example. Um, you can see her, you can see him, you can see how the mask fits. Um, you can kind of see what it looks like with the design, right? So what you would need now is to just click start designing. Once you're in the editor, it will look something like this, okay? And now you're like, okay, well that's cool and all, but where do I get my artwork? Well, there's two different places I'm going to show you to get artwork. One will be free and one will be paid. So pay attention, I'll show you the paid one first. You could go over to 5RR, which is known as Fiverr.com. Fiverr.com, I'll leave a link in the description. And you could just search um, for uh, any like design, just type the word design, something's gonna pop up. I would design your business logo, I would design the 90s graphic tee, I would design Amazon Enhance. Um, if you got better ideas, like I would design a clever modern minimalist logo, um, you could do, in fact, a word I like for um, these would be like pattern design, right? Um, something that could cover the whole entire thing, kind of like these. Um, I'm already signed in. Oh, I'm already signed in. It's just, oh, no, I'm not signed in. Um, you can see I would design a unique seamless watercolor pattern for printing. And it starts at 25 bucks. You could get these way cheaper. I want to pay 25 bucks, $5 right here. Um, seamless geometric, geometric patterns. Um, so I kind of like that seamless pattern, but you, you get the point. You could browse here and you see, you could buy services. These are freelancer selling services. I'm not going to pay $25 for one because I'm going to show you a free way to do this. Um, like this is kind of cool though. These, uh, watercolor designs, that'd be cool. Um, see those, those would be a little bit more worthwhile to me, but you could browse here maybe you want like custom like uh, um logos or something like that logo design um minimalist designs a uh, 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 character um like 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 how these are like characters right here you may want something like that or you may want quotes um slogans uh, um phrases there's all kinds of that's up to you to decide how you want to build your store right um but you can come in here and you can see you can get these rather um, you can get a better price on some of these sometimes. Like I like that little gecko looking thing. That looks pretty cool. Um, something like that. But what I really like is patterns and you can do this totally free. So let's jump over to this website right here known as Pexels, P-E-X-E-L-S.com. The best free stock photos and videos shared by talented creators. So these are free for you to use even for commercial purposes. So what you can do right here is type the word pattern. And you'll see multiple to the multitudes of patterns like geometric designs and stuff like that and you can literally just hit download for free and download this so let's see something pretty cool that looks cool um so i like that let me scroll a little bit more you can see different style of the watercolors um that one is essentially the same as the last one but you can see there's tons and tons and tons on here that also looks cool um and then you could type something else maybe like um like a uh, mermaid um, and see what or mermaid uh, pattern, I guess, and see if something pops up. I have no idea. I'm, I'm kind of guessing here. Um, I didn't see anything there or mermaid scales. <clears throat> I'm not too sure. Ooh, that looks cool. The little snake. You can do the little geckos and stuff or whatever these are. Um, but okay, let's go back real quick. I'm going to type the word pattern, right? And then I'm gonna just download something. I, I, I liked I liked this one. Um, yeah, so if you just open it up, you could click free download. And then on the bottom left-hand side of my screen, it downloaded, right? So essentially, I will just save it to my computer. I'll create a folder on my desktop to save it to just to be organized. And then once I have my image, I will go over to um, Printify, right? We'll go back to Printify and I'm just going to want to um, drop my image in there. So you can see right here, I saved it, um, the image. I'm just gonna drag and drop it, that simple. And as it designs or whatever it's gonna do, I think it's loading. Um, let me hit preview. Edit. There it is, there we go. All right, cool, you see it's right there. You can hit preview up here on the top. Let um, me see this preview button. And it's going to uh, populate, it's gonna generate uh, um, images like lifestyle images, actual images of it on it. So look at it, I think that looks pretty good. Um, you can see it on the guy's face right here, the man front, you can see a man's side view. Um, you can see the uh, the women's uh, uh, photo as well. 
And then you could even see like the lifestyle image where she has a backdrop behind her. Um, you can also use these images for your Etsy listing. So you could create multitudes or multiple um, uh, different uh, cam, not, what would you call this? Uh, multi multiple uh, prints and designs and upload them to the Etsy store. I have an Apple computer, so I use Command Shift 4. Um, Command Shift 4 and it gives me a little cursor and I could just screenshot. So what this is called is screenshotting. And I just screenshotted the image. You can see it right here. Um, and I can, say, I can open it up or I can save it to my desktop. And I can use that in my Etsy store. So if you don't know how to screenshot, just go over to Google, type in how to screenshot on whatever type of computer you have. And it should be very simple. It should be like one, two, or maybe three buttons. And it'll allow you to screenshot. Once you find your product and you like it, you would click save product. Um, and you would save it inside of your store. See, my new store. Here is my product. And then um, you would continue. See, it says not connected. I could hit connect sales channel. So I would do this for, and you can see right here, Etsy. Don't have an Etsy account, sign up. If you have an Etsy account, connect. I have an Etsy account, so I'm not going to walk through these steps. Again, if you need me to walk through these steps, I will do that for you. Just let me know in the comments below. Um, essentially, you would just hit sign up for Etsy. You would connect your account and it would integrate seamlessly together for any orders that are placed on Etsy, they will automatically be fulfilled. And the way this works is once it's integrated, let's jump over to an Etsy store. Well, real quick. So what I would do is I would make a bunch of different products in my Printify store. Um, uh, here, let me hit save product. Uh, let me hit X. So it's in my new store. Then you'll have a list of a bunch of different designs inside of your store. And then once you connect your store to Etsy, um, it'll be a seamless integration and your listings will populate on your Etsy store. So the way that works now is let's jump back over to Etsy, right? Um, and let's look at her store and you can see this is what her listing looks like. It'll have the images that you put. And again, you can go above and beyond. You could go find mock-up generators like placeit.net. In fact, here I'll type it right here just so you can see it. Um, I could also uh, leave a link in the description. Um, I don't know. I haven't checked to see if they have masks, but I'm sure they do. Um, mask mock-ups. So you could do, look at that. You could drag and drop your, uh, your mask logo on all of these uh, lifestyle images with real people and you can use them for your images. But Again, you could also order some if you want to order some and take professional photos of yourself, but there's plenty of mock-up generators out there for you to get images um, for either free or for really, really cheap. Again, you could go over to Fiverr and you could actually type mask mock-up, I'm sure, and you could probably find somebody to do mask mock-ups right there. You could send people your designs and they can do mock-ups on other, on, other, um, on other people and stuff like that as well. So I hope that gives you a little bit more clarification. I know it kind of jumbled around. So let's get back to our Etsy store. So your Etsy will look like this. When a customer comes to Etsy and they decide that they want to buy something, they're going to click this, they're going to click this, they're going to hit add to cart. Once they add it to the cart and they complete the purchase, the purchase will then go over to print, um, over to Printify since you integrated your store It'll go over to Printify. Printify will collect on the order and they will print the, the, they'll print the mask at the time of the order and they will ship it to the customer. At which point in time, you will receive the difference from your cost from Printify in the price you sold it for on Etsy minus the cost of your Etsy listing fee, which is 20 cents. So there's a few fees and then maybe payment processing fees. Um, so you do want to make sure you look into the prices, but as long as you price relatively a good, I usually say like at least a 50% margin higher than the cost of the goods, um, then you should be okay. Um, uh, my rule of thumb is normally I price 3.5 times higher than the cost of goods, but with the masks, um, I don't think you need a price that much higher, maybe two, two times higher. Like say you get the mask for four, sell it for eight, sell it for nine. Um, because they're selling ra rather quickly right now and a lot of people are buying them. Uh, it is a need. Unfortunately, we need them now or we have to have them. So I hope that made sense. I'm going to do a super quick recap. Go to Printify um, and you see right there, create your Printify account. Next step, design your first product, which we did. Next step, add a store name. Next step, 
personal details next step will be connect your store and start selling at which point in time it'll say create your uh, uh uh, Etsy account. So right here, you'll hit sign in or sign up. See, uh, I already have an account, so you could just register right here. If you don't have an account, go through the process, register, and then connect it with Printify. Um, at which point in time, it'll seamlessly integrate your whole install, entire store. Um, and then you could go in there and make a few changes if you need to. You could get image ideas from Pexels. P-E-X-E-L-S.com. You can type the word pattern, you can type texture, abstract, background, design, art, any of these. Browse through here. These are free for you to use. Download them and make um, your mask designs. And then once people go over to, because they naturally go to Etsy. Etsy has an audience. People go to Etsy every single day. I want to say millions of people, honestly. Um, they go there um, and they make purchases. So it's a trusted platform. Again, you could go to 5rr.com and you can hire freelancers to do stuff as well. So I hope that was helpful. If you need more details, leave a comment below. I'll do my best to respond to the comments. Um, as always, I appreciate everybody being here. If you haven't already, subscribe, like the channel for me so I can help get this video out there and to help me grow my YouTube channel. Um, thanks so much and I hope to see you in the next one.